Well, it's uh, midday, March 11th, 2010. And uh, today I'm actually in one of the warmest ladybug beds I have up near Lake Isabella. Very low in elevation and gets a lot of sun and heat. And there's still a good six to eight inches of snow on the ground. And I gotta tell you, one of the coldest mid marches I've ever been in this area. The sun's finally getting a little perky and warming things up. But there'll still be no ladybug harvesting here for two or three days until the snow melts off. Just how cold has it been right here? Well, as the evening cold sets in, it's made these nice little icicles and many people ask well how cold is it before it's too cold to put my ladybugs out or the reverse going into spring when is the right time well, really any time where your plants begin to show new buds even though it seems very cold out you know it might be well below freezing at night that's the perfect time to put them out they'll establish themselves very well and as the buds begin to grow out and the aphids start gathering on your new roses, rose buds and fruit tree buds, the ladybugs will be there to begin feeding and breeding, making a huge population. The worst time, although it still can work, the worst time is to wait until it's in the high 80s or low 90s and your plants are covered in aphids. And just how cold will ladybugs take it? Well, right next to these icicles, there's a little patch of ladybugs beginning to move around. And no, they didn't, I didn't find them right here. I found them a few feet away, but I put them here to give you an example that you can have icicles hanging off your uh, garden features in your house, but it's still a good time to put the bugs out so they'll begin to um, be ready to move around when those aphid infested buds on your plants start appearing. So in, a, in short, as soon as you can get a bag for of ladybugs to put out when you start seeing the first new buds on those plants, that's the best time to put them out, even though it looks way too cold. They have a different uh, biology than you and I, and when it gets that cold, they just go to sleep and they'll wake back up a few days later. Or even a few hours later. A little guy crawling along right there. You know, frozen, sawed last night, so to speak. Up and ready to go this morning.